Hello students! I am so happy that we can continue to learn English at home. I miss all of you and I wish we could be in the classroom, but since we can't, I am excited and happy we can learn English on our phone or on our computers. Today we will start Unit 8 in our workbooks. We will talk about different jobs. Before you start watching, I want you to get your notebook. We are going to take notes. So get your notebook. Do you have it? Great, let's begin. My question to you today, because you know I always like to start with a question as can you name some jobs? What are some jobs that you already know? Stop to think. What are some jobs that you already know? Can you make a list? Think about the jobs that you already know. So let's talk about some of the jobs that we already know. Maybe you already know teacher, instructor, right? I am a teacher, I teach students. We also learned another way to say teacher is instructor. Doctor, nurse, truck driver. Many of my students have said that their husbands drive trucks. Their husbands are truck drivers a counselor, police officer, salesperson, business person, someone who works at an office, and a factory worker. Many of my students work in factories or know someone who works in a factory. These are jobs that we know. So what are some jobs that we can learn? There are many other jobs and we are going to learn about some of those jobs today. We are also going to talk about what do you need to do if you have one of those jobs. We are going to continue in the Ventures book, but you will need to get out your notebook so that you can take notes. As I always do, I put new words in blue new words are in blue when i say write down a new word i want you to write it in your workbook you don't need to write down all the jobs yet at the end we're going to make a list of all the jobs and what the people in those jobs do so right now just listen and if i say Write that down in your notebook. I want you to write it down. Let's start. Jin is an auto mechanic. We talked about auto mechanics. Do you remember? An auto mechanic repairs cars. What does repair mean? There's a new vocabulary word. Repair means fixes. An auto mechanic fixes cars. So now take out your notebook and write repair, fix, repair, fix. Did you write it? Great, let's move on. Here, Jen is repairing a broken down car. A broken down car. Sue is a construction worker. There's another new vocabulary word, construction worker. Can you say, Construction worker. 
construction worker. Sue is helping to build a new mall in the city. A construction worker operates large machines. Operates means knows how to use. So now you need to get out your notebook and write operates. Knows how to use. San is a bus person. That's a funny word, bus person. San does not drive a bus. What does San do? A bus person clears tables at a restaurant. A bus person clears tables at a restaurant. Clears tables means San takes the dirty dishes away and she cleans the table. So in your notebooks, you can write clears tables, takes the dishes away. Are you ready? Let's go on. Danielle is a cook. We know the word cook. We usually use it to talk about what we're doing, a verb, I cook. We can also use the word cook to talk about a job. A cook works in a restaurant and they cook the food. So Danielle is a cook. At a fancy restaurant, a cook is also called a chef. A chef is somebody who went to school to learn how to cook. This chef is wearing a tall white hat. A cook prepares food at a restaurant. Prepares, what does that mean? Prepares is another way to say makes. A cook makes food at a restaurant. So take out your notebooks and write prepares, makes. Samira is a cashier. A cashier handles money at a store. Alicia is a mom and a homemaker. Dads can be homemakers too. She takes care of a family. A homemaker is someone who does most of the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry at a home. Many times a homemaker works in the home and maybe somebody else works outside of the home. Mary is an orderly. Where do you think Mary works? Look at the picture. Where do you think Mary works? 
Did you say hospital? You're right. Mary works in a hospital. She helps the nurses. Mary has many job duties. Duties are the things that you need to do for a job. So again, take a minute to write down duties, the things you need to do for a job in your notebook. Did you write it down? Great. Right now, Mary is feeding a patient. That is one of her duties. She is feeding a patient. A patient, that's the person in the hospital. The person in the hospital. Mary has other duties too. She cleans the rooms and she puts clean linens on the bed. What are linens? Linens are sheets and towels. So Mary puts clean sheets on the bed. Maybe she also puts clean towels in the bathroom. Mary also brings nurses supplies. Supplies are things you use to do a job. For example, Mary works in a hospital. So maybe the nurses need bandages or band-aids. Maybe they need cups for their patients and Mary might go get those things. If your kids go to elementary school, many times you need to go buy them supplies before school starts. What are supplies that you use at school? You use pens, pencils, paper. Those are school supplies. So supplies are things that you use in order to do a job. What else does Mary do? What are her other duties? Mary takes patients to get x-rays at the lab. There's a picture of the lab. Do you see it? That is where people go to get x-rays, or maybe have other tests done. The lab. When Mary takes her patients to the lab, she brings them in a wheelchair. A wheelchair is a chair with wheels. Sometimes Mary's patients don't use a wheelchair they use a walker. They use a walker. A walker can be used to help support a person when they are learning how to walk or when they have trouble walking. Do you know someone who uses a walker? Now we are gonna take a short break. Have a cup of coffee. Maybe go for a short walk in your neighborhood or play a game with your children. I will be back in video two to continue this lesson. So when you're ready, please go to video two.